Hello everyone, Morp here, and it is Holiday Scorch time again. Typically this event happens in December, but we are getting some holidays in July. So we are going to go over everything that you need to know about getting the Holiday Scorch presents. Alright, the three ways to get the Holiday presents are from your Holiday Collectron, which you can place at your base and it periodically gives you gifts. The other way is to go to the NPC vendors and buy the Holiday gift wraps and craft them yourself. And the main way is to get it from the special Holiday Scorch. Places on the map that have Scorch spawn, they will be replaced by a few of the Holiday Scorch, which will be wearing Christmas-related outfits and hats and stuff. And when you kill them, not only will each of them, which will be a legendary one, two, or three-star dude, dropping a piece of script, they will also drop a Holiday Gift. And when you open it, there will be a large array of different plans and items that you can get in there and this year has a wide array of new plans and during the event definitely keep your eye out for different public events that will have scorch come out if you're going to be fighting the queen a bunch of different holiday dudes can come out line in the sand is another really great place to have the holiday guys come out other ones like always vigilant i've had great luck with and distant thunder it's a trap Another really, really great one is Collision Course. That one actually can be triggered. And if you're using the daily op trick to make sure that you come back into the server right there, you can just do it over and over. If you have a private server, you can just farm that all day long, which is kind of nice. Now, buying them from the NPC vendors, there's going to be three options. There's a really cheap one, the middle one, and the expensive one. You should be only buying the middle one. The bottom one has a very, very low chance of giving you any plan, so it's basically worthless. And the really expensive one has just a smaller percent chance of giving you a plan, but it costs three times the middle one. So if you're going to be buying, make sure that you only buy the middle one. And I do suggest that you bring a bunch of just random stuff to sell back to the vendor, because as you're buying them, the caps will refill in there and you can just basically save more money. Now, the other method is to have the holiday gift collectron at your base. And if it's set to gifts, it will periodically fill up with some presents, which you can open, which is really great. The event that happened a few months ago, the Atom Shop didn't have it for new players. I'm hoping since this was a scheduled event that on Tuesday we will find that people that don't have it are able to get it. And now that brings me to my favorite method for farming the holiday gifts. If you do have access to Fallout first and you have your private server, it's going to be a lot easier. But you can take over any of the 21 workshops that are on the map and you can place down a holiday collectron there. It won't count because it, you know at your own base you can only have one. But if you have all 21 workshops taken over, you can have 22 of them, including the one at your base. And a really great way to do this is to make a blueprint. Once you take over one workshop, simply put down one foundation and have three stories high worth of stairs. You can place some floors up there. I like to do kind of like a wide circle looking thing. And you want to have everything centralized in the middle so that basically everything, if the base does get attacked, everything down below won't be able to shoot up there. So typically they'll just kind of ignore the base and you don't have to worry about defending it at all. So once you go up here, make sure that you do go into your miscellaneous tab, and this only works in workshops. You'll have an item called the fast travel target, so that once you do crouch and you do fast travel to your base, you'll fast travel right to that rug. And then you can walk in there and you can collect the holiday gifts. And you can also put an array of different things that you want to collect. I personally have like the acid farm, the adhesive, and some coffee, and the different things. Now, you do have to keep in mind that making these blueprints can be kind of buggy. I had to make a secondary little blueprint just for the stash box and the ammo box and that kind of thing because when I was doing the blueprint with those on them, it was, wasn't wanting to place on the next base. All right, a big thank you to Digital Content for helping me compile this picture for showing where all of the different places on the map that have the scorched as well as the workshops. And it doesn't matter where you start kind of your method, but once you take over all of the workshops, you know, you have the option of either only just go into your workshops every 30 minutes or 40 minutes, uh, wait for them to fill up, or you can kind of just do this whole path. And once you take your the entire circle all the way around, everything should be respawned. And on a side note, if you are killing the Scorched at each of the locations, make sure that you're looting them all and make sure that you kill each one of them. If you run around and only kill the Holiday Scorch, uh, that'll make it so the next one that spawn, if it's a normal one, you might have the entire area just full of normal guys. 
So you want to make sure that you kill them all so that there's more opportunity for the costumed ones to spawn in there. All right, and I've included links to a lot of the different things that I've covered here in the video, as well as Nuka Knight's page and Sugar Bomb Rad's Twitter page. So definitely keep a eye on those for more information on cool stuff that comes out. And here is another link to a live stream of me farming everything if you wanted to get a little bit more hands-on with uh, how it's all done in practice. So I hope everyone is rock and rolling and getting all of those sweet new plans in this event and rock and roll. If you do like this content, please make sure to click like and subscribe and click that notification bell for more content. And also down below is a link to our Discord. And we will see you out there in the wasteland.